Uh, good morning, Chuck. Good to be with you. Let me start with getting your reaction to Michelle Obama's speech from earlier this week. Let me play a clip uh, and get you on the other side. So while I'd love nothing more than to pretend like this isn't happening and to come out here and do my normal campaign speech, it would be dishonest and disingenuous to me to just move on to the next thing like this was all just a bad dream. This is not something that we can ignore. It's not something we can just sweep under the rug as just another disturbing footnote in a sad election season. Governor, as you know, the First Lady was speaking directly about Donald Trump's comments caught on that 2005 Access Hollywood video. Do you agree with her uh, comments that they should not be swept under the rug? Well, let me say that I have tremendous respect, Chuck, for the First Lady and for her efforts on behalf of the American people over the last seven and a half years. But the simple fact is that, uh, that Donald Trump made comments uh, in an open mic 11 years ago that he's expressed deep regret for. He's embarrassed about it. He apologized last weekend to the American people and made it clear that it was it was just talk and he's apologized to his family and and I accept that apology and I, I truly do believe that uh, uh, this election uh, this election is of such an enormous magnitude to the American people that that it's important that we move beyond this issue it's important that we that we focus on on the need for a stronger America at home yeah. and abroad. And as I traveled across Florida this week and all across the country, the, the people that I'm encountering are focused on those issues about about really restoring this country and reviving our economy. And that's where we're going to continue to be focused. Well, as you know, Donald Trump uh, does not want to move off of this issue. In fact, he, he said he's been getting advice saying that, but instead he has been uh, responding to every single accusation. Here's what he has said about a couple of the different accusers. She's right. She's a liar. She is a liar. She's writing a story. Check out her Facebook page. You'll understand. I was sitting with him on an airplane. And he went after me on the plane. Yeah, I'm going to go after. Believe me, she would not be my first choice that I can tell you. Man. You don't know. That would not be my first choice. That was Friday, Governor Pence. Uh, you just dismissed it as just talk. We now have nine accusers that have come out since you have said it's just talk. Do you really believe it's just talk? I, I really do, Chuck. Uh, you know, what, what we have this week is, uh, is a series of, of unsubstantiated allegations, and Donald Trump Let me stop you there. They're, they're not he's, unsubstantiated. He's categorically well, hang denied. On. They're not unsubstantiated. He's categorically denied those allegations, Chuck. You have firsthand accounts. They're unproven, but they are not unsubstantiated. You have, an, you have a firsthand account. We have somebody right. that disagrees with that firsthand account, but they are substantiated, no? Well, I, I, no, these are not substantiated accounts. These are, these are people who have brought forward allegations going back, in some cases, decades. And Donald Trump has made it clear that, that he categorically denies that these things ever took place. But I have to tell you, it really is astonishing to most Americans that as these unsubstantiated allegations are, are treated with an enormous amount of coverage on this network and other networks, that revelations coming out of Secretary of State Clinton's years in the State Department and the Clinton Foundation are virtually ignored by the national media. I mean, we, we discovered this week that uh, State Department officials actually directed contracts yeah. for the Haitian recovery after, after the earthquake to friends of the Clintons. And literally, that got, that got almost no media attention, while, while those that stepped forward with these uh, unsubstantiated claims that, that Donald Trump has denied uh, we're treated with headline news and continuous coverage. It's one of the reasons why well, so many Americans I, feel like this election is being rigged by a national media that's constantly trying to change the subject away from and practice willful so, ignorance so Governor, we should toward ignore? the corruption and misdeeds and pay-for-play politics but, but, uh, of let the me, Let me ask you this, though. You really believe that um, women who believe they were victimized by sexual assault, they come out, uh, they should be ignored? Um, isn't that been part of the problem with rooting out sexual assault in our culture is that no, there is not, this feeling no, that Chuck. women get ignored? Yeah, no, I wouldn't say anything to disparage, uh, disparage any woman who, uh, who's, who believes they've had an experience like this. But Donald Trump's made it clear that, it, that these allegations are categorically false. And now we've had more evidence that's come out uh, to challenge those versions uh, of the facts. But the ignorance, the, the ignoring that's going on here, Chuck, is the, the, 
the, the way the national media is ignoring an avalanche of, of real hard evidence of corruption during the years of the Clinton administration. The New York Times just a few minutes ago posted a story about for in exchange for five minutes with Bill Clinton, the, the government of, of Qatar was going to give one million dollars to the Clinton Foundation. We know that more than half of Hillary Clinton's meetings All right, while I, she was Secretary of State were given to major contributors to the Clinton Foundation. The Haitian government thing, the speeches about open borders, socialized medicine, right. it's getting virtually no attention you just in the cited national the New York, media. You just cited while the New York unsubstantiated Times. claims that have been way, repeatedly denied by Governor, Donald Trump are getting all the attention. Governor, and the American you, people see right through it, Chuck. You just cited the New York Times, obviously not a small news organization. We've been reporting right. on this, front page of NBCNews.com, and we're going to be reporting on this throughout this show. But your running mate is the one that's under fire with this. Let me ask you this. For a long time, you used, to, you used to refer to Donald Trump as this good man. You haven't done that this week. Uh, any reason for that change? Well, sure I have. Well, sure I have, Chuck. Uh, the, the Donald Trump I've He's, come to know is a man who loves his family, who loves this country. He's made a connection to millions of Americans because he's given voice to the frustrations and the aspirations of the American people. I mean, when you have the president of France over this weekend say that it was because of Barack Obama's and mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton's foreign policy of, of moving red lines in Syria, that Russia was emboldened to invade Ukraine and take a larger role in Syria, right. that's really saying something. Let the me, American people know that, that, that America has been weakened at home and abroad because of the policies of Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. And speaking of Russia, Governor, change, Chuck. you just brought up Russia. Speaking of it, do you, I know you're getting intelligence briefings. Do you believe the American intelligence that says Russia is behind uh, all of these hacks into a uh, former White House chief of staff and John Podesta, the DNC, et cetera. Do you believe the American intelligence community on this? Well, I think there's more and more evidence that that implicates Russia, and there should be serious consequences uh, if why Russia doesn't your is running violating mate, the privacy why, why and the security of the American people. Why doesn't your running but, mate and, believe and, that? And I, and I certainly and I certainly hope what the vice president said this morning is something that right. they follow through on. But let the me ask you, why, why does your this running is an administration that too often has has spoken things on the foreign stage and then not followed through, like moving red lines, feigning a reset with Russia? I, I understand. My hope is that if the evidence does flow to Russia, that there are, in fact, serious consequences and there should be serious consequences. But, Governor, but remember, this avalanche of emails, Governor, Chuck, Governor, 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 not just you're not answering this league. question. Why doesn't your running yeah. mate believe what you believe about a foreign government in Russia trying to hack into the American democracy? Well, Donald Trump and I believe we should follow the facts and America should stand strong and we should stand up for cybersecurity. He had a he had an entire presentation about his call for a new cybersecurity task force, bringing together some of the best minds in the country to protect yeah. America's privacy, both uh, our intellectual and our <laughs> defense infrastructure. But uh, but look, it's the, all this information is not just flowing out of uh, flowing out of the WikiLeaks. It was ABC you, News, a Freedom of Information request that was able to right. uncover the fact that while she was Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton's staff was actually directing contracts for the Haitian recovery effort to friends of the Clintons. And with okay. all due respect, Chuck, I, the I national Governor, media is preoccupied with unsubstantiated claims and well, again, ignoring you keep saying unsubstantiated. an avalanche that of is, hard evidence against the Clintons. You keep saying unsubstantiated. That is not true. You have a firsthand account. It's unproven, but they're not unsubstantiated. But let me ask you uh, this, this final question on this, which is if... Uh, Bill Crystal today, uh, or excuse me, earlier this week, tweeted, uh, at what point are you going to feel uncomfortable defending Donald Trump? He said, given that he's now been utterly humiliated by the Trump campaign, does Mike Pence have the self-respect to resign from the ticket? How do you respond to Bill Crystal? You know, I accepted the invitation to, to run for vice president of the United States, Chuck, because I think this country's in a lot of trouble. And I think Donald Trump has articulated a vision to make America great again that's connected with millions of Americans, despite the obvious bias in the national media and the avalanche of daily attacks against Donald Trump. I have to tell you, even this week, the crowds that I saw here in mm -hmm. Florida, the crowds he had in New Hampshire and Maine yesterday, all attest to the fact yeah. the American people want change. And for me and for my little family, we're going to okay. continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with this man and fight all the way through Election Day and deliver a great victory for America. And we're going to make America great again. Will you accept the results of the election? 
We will absolutely accept the results of the election. Look, uh, the American people will speak uh, in an election that will culminate uh, on November the 8th. But uh, the American people are tired uh, okay. of the obvious bias in the national media. That's, that's where the sense of a rigged election goes here, Chuck, the is more that you when the say, media comes you, in well, I, with an avalanche of continuous negative attacks against my running mate, instead of focusing on the real hard evidence coming you, out about corruption are and you pay to all? play in the Clinton Foundation years, it's, it's, it's why people are frustrated. But look, we'll, the more you we'll say fight our way election. through to November the 8th. And, We'll, we'll accept the will of the American Governor, people, you bet. You, Governor, you keep saying rigged election. Are you concerned that the more you say it, the more you actually undermine our democracy unintentionally? Oh, look, well, one of the great, great traditions of America is the peaceful transfer of power. And, and elections, okay. Chuck, you know, you're a student of history. Elections always get pretty rough. I expect they're going to stay just as rough as they are right now going into November the 8th. The stakes okay. are so high in this election. But, but as Donald Trump said in that first debate, uh, and I'll say to you again today, we're going to accept the will of the American people, but between now and Election Day, we're going to okay. work our hearts out against all odds, against, against most of you in the national media. Well, we're going to go lay out a story for a stronger, more prosperous America. I understand why you want to continue to attack us, but I think it's misguided attacks there. Um, I understand. Governor Mike Pence, I appreciate you coming on the program. Thank you, sir. You bet, Chuck. All right. Later in the broadcast, what impact will Donald Trump's struggles have on other races. Could the Democrats take the House and the Senate? But as we go to